Good evening, everybody. It's Dev. I hope you guys are okay. It's the modernist coolest. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, um, I do have a haul for you, um, which has been promised. I've been working in London lately, uh, so it's been difficult to get home, and uh, you find that you've got the missed deliveries and so on. So I've tried to get it all back together, um, and hopefully this, this haul will show you uh, the last certainly two or three weeks what I've been collecting. Okay. So first of all, what I want to show you is this little desk tidy that I got. Um, I think it's well cute. It's uh, it's a really well made timber, uh, large pencil sharpener, uh, and I thought that'd go really well on the uh, on the station here on the desk. Um, I can't remember how much it was now, but uh, it certainly uh, it certainly looks the business, and obviously you can uh, you can use it for the odds and sods but there are two holes in here uh, there's a a more deeper one and a small one i'm not sure what you'd use a smaller one for um but i've just at the moment i've just got um uh, the fine uh tombow zero eraser and then i've just got the uh the prismacolor blender pencil uh, and then i have a pastel yellow which has which is a spare so I've just got them in there at the moment. Um, one of the other things I've got, which you can just see here, is the uh, the set of um, Spectrum Noir markers with the rack. Um, you've probably all seen these before. They come with the bullet tip and the chisel tip. The lovely colours. Um, I'm not used to what is available with them yet you know to get my own combos together um, but I certainly know that uh, they are quite highly rated uh, so I thought I'd give these a shot uh, rather than uh, spend massive amounts of money on uh, Copics and that kind of thing and then slightly to the left of those as you can see here uh, it's another rack but they're just odds and sods what I've managed to pick up Okay, so let's get on with the haul in its entirety then. Um, I picked these up from a station in London while I was working down there. Um, there are also... Where have I put them? I'll come back to those. But um, these are small, really thin rulers. But what they have got is stencil patterns on each of them. Um... This is called the birdcage one. Um, obviously, it's got birds, uh, flowers, acorns, leaves, that kind of thing that can be used for your backgrounds. They had another one here, <coughs> uh, which is called, just bear with me, the fish bowl. So you've got, I don't know if you can see there, you've got a seahorse, you've got some shells, um, some large fish, some reefs and uh, some bubbles that are coming up from the sea but they're really really uh finely built uh so you know they won't give much of a depth on the page uh and the third one i got i think it was three for a pound was the merry-go-round uh these have got rabbits uh elephants horses penguins it's got a love heart there teddy bear a hedgehog and a larger heart it's also got some wavy lines, which does fit uh, a fine liner. And I thought that these would be really, really helpful. So I got them. And then in the same shop, they had some, and I think I saw Colour with Claire with this one, the honeycomb pattern. Um, now I'm going to try and trace that video uh, where she shows you how to do the background in honeycomb. And I'm going to uh, attempt to do that because I managed to see this and I thought, oh, I remember when Claire showed that. So I managed to get that one. Um, that is a similar one, but it's more squared. So as opposed to the, uh, the six sides, this has got seven and some of them have got small squares on. There's some flowers on this one. And some hearts on this one. Now these are uh, a bit 
slightly larger then we've got some flashes of lightning we've got some rain clouds with drops sun sunshine with rays coming off a small star a larger star half moon in shape of a man's face and a snowflake so these are weather orientated ones uh, these are all different uh, sized circles so I thought they would come in handy and then finally uh, these are just plain clouds um, but I mean the, 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 they weren't expensive and I thought well I might as well get them um, and then I found this one um, as well this one in the other shop this was in a different shop and it was different to the three that I got um, now this one is hot air balloon so you've got the balloon, the aeroplane, the moon, stars, sun again and some smaller clouds I mean they could be incorporated right at the back of your drawings um, so I mean even if they were uh, you know only come in once now and again they are helpful and of course the added bonus is that there is a, a 10 centimeter uh, edging on it so you can measure things as well if needed be for spacing and that kind of thing so I thought I'd show you those And then moving on from that, I got uh, I got this pencil case, which was from eBay. Um, I'm a bugger for looking for va for offers and value for money and that kind of thing. Now these, I think this is a two hundred uh, a two hundred slot one. But I seem to remember that I looked on Amazon at the same time. These were about eighteen pounds, and I won this for a tenner in in an auction, which is exactly the same one. It's brand new. Um, there is a reason why I've got it, which I'll show you later. But again, it just shows if you uh, if you do look, the deals are out there. Um, and like I said, this one was ten pounds. Then I got this one, also from eBay. Uh, I think this is 120. This one, um, very similar to the other one, but it's more of a tougher exterior, and it opens out, it cascades out into four separate sections, um, and of course they are also have a purpose. Um, but this one was eight pounds, and I think this one was about 15 quid on Amazon. So again it's just a matter of uh, finding it on ebay and if you've no time constraints and you're not bothered about waiting that extra week then it, it, it does come in handy um so the first thing then um as far as supplies are concerned is this i got this um 36 set of derwent light fast um what i thought i would do with these is put them in one of the cases along with another supply so that I could uh, try them out um, and I have tried them out already I'll show you some work I've done with them but there are 36 in here <laughs> some of them incredibly short already um, I was a bit naive with the pencil sharpenings uh, especially on this yellow um, but they are beautiful to use they, the, the lay down uh, is, is thick but it doesn't clog if that makes any sense so what I did was I got the new uh, Halloween special and I managed to find uh, a lady in here called Ennis Guerrero uh, her work is absolutely outstanding um, I'll show you the page that I've started well, I'll show you the pages that she's done in the book the first one starts at number 31 which is called button eye now as you can see I mean to me this is a female Nick Fenton here uh, I instantly was taken aback as soon as I saw her um, and I did message her on uh, on Etsy and she courteously replied to me saying that she is working on a book at the moment but single pages and specials are all that uh, are available at the moment so that's her first uh, entry into this book, number 31, which is button nine. Then she's brought in Como Sierra Sidienta, which is number 32. 
uh, again another very uh, very imaginative illustration there I've started this one with the Derwent Light Fast. Um, obviously, I've got some way to go to finishing yet. I'm not happy with these leaves, so I may have to uh, do some major corrective surgery on them. But the 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 layering of the reds uh, and and purples that I've used for the hair on, on these Light Fast were absolutely, you know, top class. Um, I was really pleased with the outcome of of the um, results of the light fast and then of course the skin tones here I've used about six different colors because I don't know if you can see on the camera there I've kind of uh, whoops I've kind of made uh, her eyes red and bleeding uh, so there are some reds and shades in there as well as the uh, the usual kind of skin tones that we use and then it's gone through obviously but I've got my protector here uh, this one's called the Grey Witch again very beautiful uh, incredible artist I, I am so struck by the way she draws this is called give me my wings And this one is superb as well. I'm not going to try and pronounce that one because it's uh, it's a very long, unpronounceable word in my opinion. But that's number 36. And again, very gothic. Uh, very Nick Fenton as well in there, I think. This is another fine piece. I mean, it's the first time I've ever seen a unicorn in its skeleton form looking so menacing. Um... You know, unicorns are usually, usually cute and whimsical, that kind of thing. But the girl that's in it, it's called Famine, is this um, this illustration. So obviously hunger plays a, a massive part, hence the, you know, the skin and bone on the unicorn. This lady's got a massive sky, scar down her eye. Uh, they're on some kind of holy hill as well, uh, the kind of a symbolic meaning there. It's just absolutely, uh, she's holding some scales of, I don't know whether you could call it justice or whatever, but they're certainly tipping. Uh, and you can just read into the art of this one. Well, I I think I can anyway. And, you know, she's kind of saying to us in this picture, life's not fair. Um, but the, the artwork is top class. And then number 38 she's done is this one. This is called Inzanami. Um, you've kind of got the geisha girl aspect here. Um, but then also you've got the button eye again, a scar across the face uh, with some butterflies um, and then some really harsh thorns. So again, it's the, it's the beautiful with the nasty mixed together. I think it's just incredible um, this is called Artemisa uh, lady on the wolf she's kind of holding a heart but it actually is a physical heart she's got horns um, again with the the pretty and the ugly mixed together very very uh, very artistic I think and a final one is this one the season of the witch I mean how good is that um, you know, I can't, I'm going to be colouring all ten of her stuff in this in this book, this Halloween book, um, and I'll be a keen follower from now on. Uh, like I say, um, she really has struck a nerve with me, and fortunately as well, she's on the back cover. So if I do decide to cover the covers on this one, you've got the you've got parts of her here, and then you've got uh, a full picture of hers on the back. Um, I won't go through the first 30 because, as always, as I go through this haul, I'm going to do you, um, obviously offer the service of doing a full flip through of each book, should you require it. So that was that, and that was the first usage of the light fast pencils. Um, <clears throat> then I was enabled by Claire again, yet again, um, with these two sets of paint. Um, 
I got the pearl colours by Calero, the fine tech ones, and then also the pearl colours in a larger pot, uh, a larger pan. These actually were on offer, um, and these um, are smaller pans but varied colours. Um, I've not used them yet, but the colours are on here. Uh, it's a 12 set. Uh, we've got silver pearl, fine gold, shining pink, red, fine lilac, red violet, red brown, bronze, blue green, green pearl, blue silver and blue pearl. So anything kind of metallic or incorporated into your pictures and your backgrounds, I don't have anything like this. Um, so it was... Um, it was something I was going to get eventually anyway, but like I said, these were on offer. On offer. Uh, and these these larger ones, uh, Tibet gold, Inca gold, Arabic gold, gold pearl, moon gold, and sterling silver. Um, so you kind of got five shades of gold here, and then the silver on the end. I don't know if these are the regular uh, kind of products that, that usually come if you buy the fine text. Uh, I just saw these, I thought I'd give them a try, based purely on the fact that this was on offer and this was a smaller sampler set that I could use uh, different colours with. So that was that. And then I got these. It's the 120 set of Pablo's. Uh, I've not opened them yet. Um, Hence the uh, pencil cases that I bought. Now again, I looked on Amazon for these. I, I was enabled by these with watching two people. Uh, the Art Gear Guide from, from quite a long time ago, he, he put the idea in my head, first of all. He's a big Karen Dash fan. He's, uh, he's Harry. And then recently, um, Claire, not Claire, sorry, uh, recently Kate, colouring with Kate, Kate's Colouring Heaven, is it? Or Kate's Colouring Corner, one of the two. Uh, she was using them to complete a picture and the results from that were outstanding. So I had a look on Amazon uh, and they were £180 these for 120 set, the full count set. So I ummed and ahed and I thought, well, it's a lot of money to pay, um, you know, regardless of whether, you know, what I'm going to pay it or not. So, again, I, I went on to eBay, like I did, just like I did with the um, the Neo 2s. And this was uh, a seller called Turkish Milk, his name is. Um, and he sold this for £110 with delivery. Brand new. As you can see, it's not being opened. Uh, and that's £70 difference. Well, that £70 has paid for, you know, a lot more into the haul. Um, and I'm not saying that eBay every time will have the right result, but it's just a case of looking, I guess. So the, the, the price I've paid for these and the Neo 2s together makes the Amazon price of these. So I think I've done all right. Um, and I can't wait to start using these. These type of pencils are what I like to use. Um... Even though I've used the light fast recently to do the um, to do the whip that I've just shown you, um, I still prefer um, at the moment my polys, and I think these are going to rival the polys. Um, my best work certainly comes from a, a polychromo. Anyway, that's just me. Um, so I got them, and that's why I got the pencil cases. Um, so now they're moving on to the books. I got this one. Now this one <clears throat> is the Albrecht Dura colouring book. Now most people will know that this name is synonymous with art. Um, he does have a range of 120 watercolour pencils, uh, you know, similar to the polychromos. Um, and I looked into him a little bit and obviously he was, he was a famous artist. Um, and because, I think it's obviously in the cookies or something like that, but because I was looking at Albert Dura at some point, then of course, when I went on to other websites, it brought Albert Dura uh, products up. And this came up on Amazon, which I'll leave a link for. Um, 
and it's it's a hardback book. Um, it's made by Pomegranate, which I've reviewed before um, on this channel. Pomegranate makes some excellent quality books. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so I thought I'd get it. And then once I got it, it was like, wow. So, of course, you've got him himself, which I don't know if it's a self-portrait or whether it was somebody else that did it for him. Uh, but, I mean, look at the detail in that. That is, it's almost Christ-like, isn't it, you know? Um, so that's the title page. Uh, and then it tells you a little bit about how Albert Dürer was uh, a Renaissance artist. Uh, and he was German. And, and obviously, you know, how he, how he crafted his art. And it's very interesting if you read through this about his workshop and what bits and basic bits and pieces he had to work with uh, before he started obviously getting better. Uh, and he, he just became so famous from that. Um, this is an index of all his works that are in the book uh, with the dates that they were done and what type of actual uh, artwork they were. Because some of these images in here are wood cuttings from wood. Some of them are engravings and some of them are paintings. So obviously the, uh, the images that we have to colour will depend on what you know, it will depend on what type of uh, what type of art is was the original piece. The single sided, very good quality paper. It's smooth paper. Um, so I don't know if we can cross reference these. Are they actually in out now? They've all got numbers, so you'd have to look back. But this is called the Four Horsemen uh, from fourteen ninety eight, and it was wood cut onto a piece of wood, believe it or not. Um, so as you can see, uh, and then he's got his little symbol here, AD at the bottom. Um, so obviously, to know the title of each one, you'd have to go back to the index, because unfortunately it doesn't say them on the back. But as you can see in here, um, like I said, it is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's definitely pencil work. I wouldn't spoil this book with markers at all. Uh, that's my opinion, of course. Uh, I do like this one. Uh, I am going to look at the title for this one. It's number eight. Um, I did see it the other day. This is called The Vision of the Seven Candlesticks, also from 1498. Um, and how good is that, please? Uh, it's just phenomenal. Um, so... I'm not going to obviously go through each page because like I've said at the beginning of the video, I am more than happy to do in-depth flip throughs of any of the books that I show today. Uh, but I just want to show you the haul in its entirety. And then at the end, there's a piece here uh, that says thoughtfully conceived and engagingly intricate pomegranate's colouring books combine stunning illustrations, as we can see, High quality paper and sturdy construction to delight generations of colouring enthusiasts with subjects ranging from fine art, nature, architecture to history, the metaphysical and more. Pomegranate colouring books offer something for everybody. And it obviously then prompts you to go on to www.pomegranate.com to see their full selection. And this at the back is a stunning piece. This this will also be getting uh, getting coloured, no question. It reminds me a little bit of the Baker's Dozen book, um, but better, obviously. Uh, and then on the inside covers on both sides, you've got this really glossy, uh, sorry, really matte, but very smooth uh, sheen on the page with all these rhinoceros. Uh, it's quite an incredible book. Uh, I've not seen it uh, about on, on YouTube, so I thought you might like this one. Um, and like I said, I'm more than happy to do a, uh, an in-depth flip through of that. The next I got was Autumn Magic by Molly Harrison. Um, obviously, time of year, um, I had a quick look around. 
and wanted something more fit that would fit in the theme of time of year with Halloween coming up and autumn. So this is Autumn Fairies, Witches and More by Molly Harrison. As you can see, it's a grayscale book. Um, again, not going to go into massive detail, but they're just fun colourings, these, you know. Uh, Single-sided. Molly, uh, Molly Harrison's work's very, very good. Uh, I think she's getting more popular as time goes on. Um, and I don't think it was mega expensive. There are 30 images to colour. There's a thumbnail of each one on the back. And again, more than happy to uh, do an in-depth look through for you. Then I got Mystical Autumn. Uh, which is also by Molly Harrison, uh, also grayscale. And again, very similar pictures to the last one, but these are better, in my opinion, uh, than the last book. I mean, that one's great. Um, and that one as well. So again, you've got the thumbnails on the back. Um, shows you each one. Um, not a particularly great made book but we all know that obviously these fall into the budget book bracket and um, you know you get what you pay for but the images in here and this one are both very good um, and are both very in tune with uh, the time of year at the moment then I got um, let me just bring this one back out actually because I got two I got um, another one by Molly Harrison which is called Whimsical Wonders, uh, a grayscale colouring book. And it was cheaper to buy three together than it was to, or slightly more expensive to buy two. So I think it was an extra pound to get the third one added. So how cute are these? Uh, again, this is just going to fall under the, you know, the mindless colouring. Get your markers out as a base, especially with that one, and then get your pencil on top if that's what you want to do uh, and it also gives you a chance in this one that I did notice earlier to try out you know your um, your other sort of mediums really with the bubbles being there you know the water effect uh, and that kind of thing so there is a couple of Halloween pictures in here as well um, that one for instance with the pumpkin so I want to show you that one in, in, in tune with those two um, then I got this one. This one is, I think it's by Elena Lazareva, which is the one that I got last time. And I'm not kidding you, the artwork in here is breathtaking. I mean, look at these. If, if anybody could actually colour like that, it would just be phenomenal. I mean, look at the hair on this, on the detail. Um, these are obviously at the beginning of the book, like your other books, but then you've got the uh, the illustration on the left to give you some inspiration. I personally will be trying to copy them. And this giraffe lady here, it's absolutely, I mean, how crazy is that? You know, you've got all these different tones inside the hair here, which kind of matches the stumps of the giraffe. And then the lady's covered in giraffe fur, and then you've got the background, just absolutely great. You've got a starfish lady here. That one is back from that one. Uh, and again, I'll be using that as, as an inspiration with the cabbage there. So I'm not going to go again in depth, but she's high up on my list now uh, i really do like her books this is the second or third one i've got of hers elena lazareva she's called uh, and the quality of this book outshines those by by you know quite a great distance i mean the time that's spent to uh, to show her illustrations as she's done them is absolutely stunning and the color blends especially on this underwater one here You've got the morphed lady here that's got, obviously, the, the, as her head goes back, there's more fish, and it kind of morphs into a fish. But if you look at all the fine details, there must be 30, maybe 40 colours in there, all layered, uh, which is 
superb um, and again with this this colouring here in the hair look um, it really shows you what you can and can't do so I'm all for that one um, really really pleased with that and I've followed her on Amazon then I got this one uh, which is made by Pepin sorry for the glare that I, there guys uh, I'll try and uh, this is still life bouquets it's 16 images uh, 180 GSM paper um, and it's on high quality paper acid free and then I've not opened it yet but on the back you can see that the, 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 they are all bouquet kind of things now I bought this to use with my Albert Dura watercolour pencils um, and making time or even ink tents but I'm trying to uh, pick up that that kind of skill as, as much as I can. I've been watching uh, May use watercolours and uh, ink tents and she is just so adept, you know, she doesn't have to think twice and it's all, you know, it's really, really high quality. So I, I bought this rather to, to practice on than, than use a book, because obviously with it being a watercolour book as well, um, it's gonna help with the uh, learning process. So that's by Pepin, it's an artist colouring book. Um, and on the back, you can see the images. Uh, they're all bouquets, but what better to, to practice on than flowers, because obviously you've got the uh, the gradations and everything with the colours. So that's, that's that. Um, then I got this book, which is not very well made, it's very thin. It's called Ladies of Leisure 3 by Zan Von Z. Not too happy with this, if I'm totally honest. Uh, I will do a flip through if you want. The images are quite good, but the quality is not there. Uh, you know, unlike the ones I've just shown. Um, I'm not going to send it back. If I don't use it, uh, you know, I'll probably use it as a giveaway or something. Uh, but it's just not my style. I mean, that's probably the, the best one in the book. Um, but, you know, it's very, very thin paper, very thin backed. I mean, I don't know if you can see how thin that is. So that's that. Oh, I didn't realise. I've got another Molly Harrison book. This is Halloween Fantasy. And it's for grown-ups. So this is a line art book. That one's wicked. Quite a few good images in here. So again, happy to do a flip through of that. Again, same thing with Molly Harrison's books, all the thumbnails on the back. Then I've got this one. This is Pyrenees' Views of Rome, it's a hardback book, it's very similar to the Albert Duro one. Um, now, this is a high quality book again. Um, it opens... Landscape. And it's made by Pomegranate again, uh, who are probably my favourite producer at the moment. And it goes on to tell you about Pyrenees, who was uh, an architect bang in the middle of the Renaissance uh, kind of period. And as we all know, uh, things in Rome were just built out of beauty. And again, it's got a similar sequence to the Albert Durer book, in so much that the page numbers tell you what the pieces are, um, rather than have them on the page. But again, as you can see, Beautiful, beautiful images of sites in Rome. I mean, how cool are these? So that's just to give you a, a quick insight into... Oh, there are actually some that are portrait, which is good. Um, but again, happy to do a flip through if you need one but 
that is just a time and patience book where you could do little bits, uh, come back to it, do little bits, come back to it, that kind of thing. Because it's all about taking your time, I think, with that one. You would never consider using a marker on there. I mean, the detail is just really, really fine. And it'd be, uh, <laughs> it'd be a joy to do in so much that you would have to, you know, do building colours. You'd have to do uh, the trees, the vegetation, that kind of thing. But all kind of muted, as you can see on there. Um, in the skies and everything. So, that is my cup of tea, really. In, in so much that, uh, you know, I love doing stuff like that. Um, it will take time, but obviously there are 50 images in here. So, you know, I think one image would take so long to actually complete, you'd be so happy at the end of it. Um, anyway, so again, the open offer is there for an in-depth flip through. This is Pyrenees' view of Rome and it's also a pomegranate book. Then I got these two. Uh, I was enabled by Colour with Claire. I'd already got the the ABC one. Um, but this is the newest one, I think. The Flora and Fauna one, which is A to Z. But it's on quality paper. And what she's done is in tune with the rest of her books. Obviously that's the start of the book on an A. So the A is made up of everything beginning with an A. Uh, probably won't be able to give you all of them, especially the flowers, but you've got uh, an adder, you know, you've got apples, acorns, that kind of thing. You get the, you get the picture. Uh, there are two of each. Oh, there are actually three of each in here. Um, this is B, Barn Owl, Blue Tip, I think, and, and so on and so on, the cat for the sea. And these are very much uh, fine work uh, that you can just spend an hour on, put down and pick back up later on. And of course, at the back, you've got all the, you know, it was an adder, an apple, an acorn, um, Marilis, I think must be the flower, possibly. Um, but anyway, the, these these are all uh, similar to what she's done, Kelly O'Gorman. They are perforated pages as well, and it's a really, really well-made book. This is what I like about colouring books. When they come, they're well-made, and, you know, you get what you pay for kind of, uh, kind of thing. So that's the A to Z, the flora and fauna. I think everybody's seen the the other alphabet one and then this is the number coloring book again by kelly o'gorman with the easy to pull out perforated pages and then what i like about the books as well which i forgot to show you on the last one there's an example here number nine uh, there are nine things on it and then you've got here a color test page to test your mediums out, see what it works like on this particular paper. And then a test page here, number nine, which is this one. So you could use the same colors and see how it kind of matches up. And then of course, uh, there are some suggestions what you can do with the pullouts, making cards, that kind of thing. Um, so your zeros are here, you know, that's the number one, which is an Elta Skelter number two, and so on and so on. I can hardly turn the pages, the quality of the paper's that good. Um, well impressed with these. I sent uh, I sent Kate one of these books, which was the ABC one, um, and I think she's impressed with it as well. So I can recommend these to anybody. If they want a, a high quality book, where they, where they sit down and they think this is good quality uh, paper that I've got here and you can try out various different um, mediums on them I wouldn't hesitate to buy one of these because like I say you can swatch it all in here then you've got a test test image uh, and if you can match up to the other colours that's on the other one you're off and away and uh, I find that really really challenging and um, I'm going to enjoy using these two books
so that that's those two um i recently um told everybody i'd broke my handling virginity <laughs> so to speak <coughs> and um it was in the victorian darlings book so i got this one the tattoo ones because i'd seen some pictures in here previous and there are some really cool ones with me with my music especially uh, and like that one with the 50s microphone um there's another one that i really like in here I am happy to do a flip through, like I've said, but there is another one. I probably won't be able to find it now. Nope. Anyway, it there is another one in there that I really like. That is, it's kind of uh, in tune with what I like. But, oh, there it is. Uh, I actually uh, put a photo on Instagram of me with this hairstyle uh, as a joke uh, looking like a 50s lady and um, I look as good as she does I think <laughs> no I'm only joking um, but like I said in all seriousness uh, I got this based on the fact that I liked the Victorian one so it's a very very good book I can recommend it to anybody um, the quality is okay very good you know it's not brilliant but it's not poor um, and I'm happy to do a flip through if anybody wants that then I got this book which is called which is by Kaiser Colour and it's called Mystic Treasures uh, and I picked this one up in London um, in, so I am not familiar in any shape or form with who Kaiser Craft are, other than that they were a Victor uh, sorry, a Australian um, production company from Victoria. Um, but the, the quality of paper is really good. And some of these images in here, as you can see, are really, really gorgeous. Um, and for the price it was, I thought, well, you know, can't go wrong. So I bought it and obviously I'll do a flip through if needed. So that's Mystical Treasures by Kaisercraft. There isn't any individual artist named on here, so I do apologize about that. But the quality is really good and that's what made me buy it more than anything. But happy to give you uh, the details of Kaisercraft, who, like I said before, they're an Australian uh, production company uh, based in Victoria. Um, they do have a website, www.kaisercraft.com.au. Um, so I don't know if they do many more. Uh, if they do and they're of this quality, then it might be something worth, people worth looking into, but it's certainly a good book. So that's Mystic Treasures, colouring book by Kaiser Colour. In the same shop, I got this one by Dana Fox. And it's called Watercolour With Me In The Forest. Now, as I've explained to you earlier, uh, when I got this, I realised that Rebecca has already done a flip through of this. So she can tell you a lot more about watercolour than I can. But it is something that I'm really keen on progressing with. And what it does do... For instance, this, this page is acorns. It just tells you the three colours that you need. And it tells you step by step how to paint it. So you get it like this image here. And the blank image is there, look, which is very fine, which watercolour images usually are. Um, but it actually tells you how to do it. So I'm kind of of the mindset that this is wet on dry method i'm kind of of the mindset well you know if you complete this book whether it, you know whether your results are good or bad at the end of it you're going to have a more um experienced knowledge of watercolor and of course wet on wet is a different one to wet on dry um you know you've got drops in colors here wet the paper tilt to, to blend so you tilt the paper you know, all these kind of things I would have never thought of. 
Um, and then an instance on this one with the wet on wet is this snail, the four colours needed. And then the image here. And it takes you through it step by step. And this was in the same art shop as the Mystic Treasures book. And obviously the quality, again, it's a hefty book, well made. Um, very, very thick. Paper's excellent. So I'm going to use um, proper watercolour paints to start with. Um, and then if I manage to pick little bits up, I'm going to try and use the, the same colours but use the um, the Albert Dura watercolour pencils and see if that works as well in there. Okay. Then I got, I think it was one or two. Two, I think. Yeah. These are called Abstract Challenge 1 and 2. Um, and in no way, shape or form did I know that these were advanced. So don't please think that I've bought these thinking I'm advanced or anything like that. Because that's not the case. I got them because I don't really like mandalas that much. Um, and these are a kind of 3D kind of similar, if you know, mindless colouring. Um, they're not brilliant. But what they will do is give you the ability to practice. And what I mean by that is that these, that you could practice using that as chrome, for instance, uh, plastic, anything with a sheen on it. Same with that, same with that. Again, you've got the highlights on here. So if nothing else, it will allow you to become familiar with uh, shading. It's also got a colour test page here. And it's also got an absolute abundance of colouring books, thumbnails in the back. Loads of them. And these are by so Kimberly Hawthorne, but the the production company so is colouring books for adults. Uh and it's a shop. It's on Facebook as Life Escapes Colouring Books. And it's on Twitter, Colour Page Free. And Kimberly Hawthorne's also on there. So you'll be able to find all these books. Uh, again, happy to do a flip through. You can use inquiries. There is an email address at the front. So if anybody wants that, let me know. Um, these, to give you an idea of the the thumbnails, crazy. Military, uh, old timer, hunting, cowboys, you know, this Wild West, Christian inspiration, cars and guitars. I probably would like that one. Uh, old trucks, original and restored. So there's something for everybody here. There really is. Cute animal faces. Farm animals, you know, that's just a few of all what's here. Military, um, creepy Halloween horror, fun colouring for men, old time one and two, farm fun, still life, still life series one and two. So, yeah, massive amounts of books on offer there. Uh, and this is the second one. It's kind of mandala-esque, as you can see. But what it does do, like I said in the other book, it does allow you to practice, and that's what I'll be using these for. To try and get the hang of, you know, positioning with the light and the shading, that kind of thing. And you won't be too bothered about messing the page up. That's kind of what I'm trying to get at. So I got them to... Um, I want to show you that one because it's rubbish. Then in that art shop in London, uh, I picked up this because this is what I'm going to take with me because I'm going back tonight. And it's basically a big thick book and it's called the Usborne Big Book of Drawing, Doodling and Colouring. 
So it's got everything in here from colouring to drawing. Um, and the reason why I've got this is because none of it's time consuming. When I'm stuck in my hotel room, I can just grab a pencil case, grab this, put an hour in, think not of it and go to sleep. So I bought that for that purpose only, but it is a massively thick book and I can recommend it. It's by Usborne, as we've already said. Um, there are loads of illustrators, too many to mention. Uh, happy to do a flip through, but it's just exercises and, and that can only contribute to muscle memory, I think, you know. You have to draw faces, for instance, on these. Uh, seems very childlike, but if you're using art supplies, I don't see how it can uh, not benefit you, in my opinion. Then you've got all this big doodle page to colour, you know. So there's various stuff to do in it, and it will cheap as chips. So I got that. Then I was inspired by Kate to buy Drummond Vanger, is it? Drummond Vanger by Tomislav Tomic. This is a beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, the images in here are extremely detailed. If you're not a patient colourer and you know you like to just whack stuff down, I won't be buying this book because the intricacy in this book is, is really, really small. Um, you know, it's all sharp pencils and fine liners, really. Um, but the, the images are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm trying to th see the one that uh, Kate was colouring. It was the one with the mushrooms, wasn't it? I think it was this one. And she's made an incredible job of it. <clears throat> but she has used... Um, pencils in the majority for that um, I can't I, on, other than these big spaces I can't really see what, what other medium you could use other than fine liners but the book is really really well made it's got it's got glitter stars on the front um, it's got like a, a glossy design in parts of it and then the rest is matte which is a good combo and then it tells you a little bit about Thomas Slav Tomic on the back. So I've got that one. And then I was passing. Where was I passing? It was again in London last week. Um, and one of the supermarkets, I think it was Asda, had the Christmas Heaven colouring, uh, the special one that comes out. Um, the Christmas 2018. This has got illustrations by Molly Harrison, Anne Stokes, Good Wives and Warriors and Hannah Lynn. So I picked up a couple of those, one to send a friend. Um, obviously it starts with Molly Harrison. You've probably seen flip-throughs of these. Anne Stokes is next. Good Wives and Warriors. Hannah Lynn. Right up to 48, I think it is. Yeah. And then you've got your combo chart at the back, as usual. Uh, and at the front, you've got um, an in-depth little designs 1 to 12, 13 to 24 by each individual illustrator. Tells you a little bit about those um, and how they've come to, uh, you know, contribute to this book. These are getting more popular by the, by the month. Um, I had a conversation with one of the managers or one of the uh, people who run the media side of it on Facebook about the availability of these books. And they told me it's a license problem because when they have, when they have multiple contributors to a book, i.e. Molly Harrison and so on, they only have a certain amount of time uh, to be able to sell that book with the license. So that's why you will find that when you try and get the stuff that are backlogged online, they're always empty and, and sold out because they can only have the license for so long. Uh, and of course, I, I would imagine that's that's 
you know, to avoid financial implications. But the actual company is doing so well that they're, they're, they're thinking of doing other things. So um, watch this space for that. I don't know what they are, obviously, but I had a conversation with him and uh, that's what he told me. And the final two books today, <laughs> I got the Beatrix Potter colouring book. Now, I'm a sucker me for good quality books. Um, this is beautiful. It's gold embossed at the front. Um, and it's by Frederick Warren, which is part of the Penguin uh, Company. And then you've got this map at the front, which is colourable. Fantastic. And then you, it tells you on the back of each image what they are. That's the imagination of Beatrix Potter. So you've got Beatrix's head there. And then inside the head are all these creations that she's come up with in her career. And then so on and so on. But the, the paper is very similar to Rhapsody in the Forest. And Romantic Country. Maybe not as harsh as Romantic Country actually. Um... This was on offer on Amazon. I think I paid five or six five pounds, I think. Um, and when you consider that some of the other ones that I've shown you are about the same price, the quality difference, you know, there's no comparison whatsoever. So that's a lovely, lovely book. I'm happy to have got that one. There's 45 pictures in there. Um, I will put links up eventually on on the video. I'm not going to have time to do them all tonight. But I will do them during the week in uh, whilst I'm in London. I just want to get the the uh, the video on online today, which I promised everybody I would do. So that was the main thing today. And the final book I got was by Hannah Lynn, and I got it for Christmas. Uh, most people will have seen this. The images are superb. It's a reasonably well-made book. The papers, mm, yeah. It's all right, uh, you know, as long as you use a paid protector, you should be okay. Um, but you won't be able to lay massively with it uh, before it starts crumbling on you. But other than that, these images are so cute. Uh, I think there's two of each, as most people will know. And that is that. So, that's kind of my haul for this week. Uh, the other thing I want to show you um, is, just bear with me a second. <clears throat> ah, they're in here. So, in the same art shop in London, I got, I do believe there are eight of these. And I'll give you a quick demonstration. These are um, the Pentel Hybrid Glitter Pens. Um, they are absolutely phenomenal. And um, I think, that, like I say, I think there's eight colours. I only managed to get five. They only had five in stock. Um, but I'll give you a quick swatching of them on some decent paper. Then you can have a look. Are we okay there? Yep. Yeah. So I think they're about two pounds each. But the payoff on these, I'm going to show it you. I want to do it half the box so you can see the uh, the comparison. So this one is metallic yellow and orange. And I hope you can get... Look out, that bad boy. These are excellent. And they're so, so juicy as well. Um, I mean, Pentel is, is, is a good, reputable company. This one is gold. It just screams glitter at you as soon as you put... The nib down to the paper. And that's the gold one.
And then uh, I got the, let's have a look. This is called the Metallic Blue and Green. There we have that one. Beautiful there. What you would incorporate them into your pictures with, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure that people, especially with Christmas coming up, uh, and there will be images of decorations and things, won't there? So I would imagine that they could be incorporated into most of those kind of pictures with tinsel and um, baubles and that kind of thing. But these are so good, I'm going to try and find the set of eight that you can buy at Amazon. Uh, like I said, I got these from the art shop again. This art shop, by the way, was uh, in the postcode E17, uh, which is where the pop band started. And um, because it was so local to where I was staying, I kind of visited every day to pass the time on. So I bought little bits and bats every day. Um, but it's, it's, it's a really good shop uh, for, for those of you who live in that sort of area of the country. It has all sorts. You know, they sell modelling clay and they sell proper top quality uh, art paints and that kind of thing. But they have, they have a lot of colouring stuff as well. This is... This last one is Violet and Metallic Blue. I'm really, really impressed with them. So if anybody wants a good gel pen, uh, especially with Christmas coming up, I would not hesitate to recommend these. They're not massively expensive, but they are called, and I'll hold it up to the camera for you, hopefully you'll be able to see it. They're called the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Marker. And the code on each pen, it's the same code on each one, is K110. That's Kilo 110. So I got those. Uh, I'm going to try and get some more of them eventually down the line. Um, and that's it. Um, like I say, I... Um, the one thing I do want to say is um, I don't do these hauls to to be flash or anything. Um, I don't, you know, I shouldn't have to explain myself, but I don't, I don't go out very much and I, I don't waste my money on, you know, on other things that other people do with their money. That's up to them. I, I work incredibly hard for what I do uh, and I don't want you to think for one second that I'm the kind of person that's on here gloating because I'm not. I just... I'm so into the hobby, um, it means the world to me. And, you know, eventually it's going to slow down, of course it is. Um, but as, as it transpires at the moment, I'm kind of building this room from nothing. You know, it was, it was just an empty garage. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to have another 5x5 five five, uh, bookcase opposite me on the back wall. Uh, and then build up my collection and then obviously I, I won't need to buy anything for months and months on end so please don't think that I'm uh, you know in any shape or form bragging or anything because I'm not uh, I just like to share with you what I've managed to get and um, obviously you know if people can in, enable me to buy things then that's good um, so I hope you all have a great week I'm going to be grafting down in London um, I will be back next weekend uh, where there will be any requests that I've received for flip-throughs, I can do them for you. Uh, and then also in addition to that, I'm going to uh, try and finish my whip in the uh, Halloween colouring book uh, and show you that as well. So for me, have a great week, everybody. I love you all. Um, you're a great bunch of people. 
and um, anything you want looking at or anything you think I might like please don't hesitate to get in touch and I'll speak to you all later if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed then please consider doing so as the channel is growing and the more the channel grows the more stuff we'll get and the more we'll be able to discuss it in depth Yorkshire style all right then folks cheers bye bye